Hi, welcome to Writers on Writing. Let's talk with author, poet, and translator Jasmine Mendez. Let me ask you about poetry since you're also a poet, but when you sit down to work on a poem, what are some favorite techniques that you like to throw in there? Yeah, um, gosh, it's been a minute since I've written like a standalone poem. I've been <laughs> working so much on like these, you know, novels and verse and picture books. And so it's it's been a minute since I just wrote like, this is a poem by itself. Um, so and so novel and verse is, is a different sort of beast than um, sort of like individual poems. But when I, you know, usually uh, poetry kind of like the the character that kind of speaks to you out of nowhere it, it usually comes from a strong emotional place mm -hmm. um something that that i have felt really deeply or a single line or an image and then i just sort of like jot it down and i really get into it um it's been a while since i sort of like sat like made myself sit down and like i'm gonna write a poem today usually it's like i have to be inspired like it has to be something that comes from within me and and the word will come yeah. um but then again like it, it you know in drafting in drafting i will say that i usually lean into sort of my tried and true kind of crutches of alliteration repetition um, I, lo I love repeating lines or phrases in Afra, sort of the beginning of lines or the ends of lines. Um, sometimes a little bit of, of, of rhyme. Um, I'm not mm -hmm. huge on rhyme, but sometimes it just kind of happens. Like I'm just kind of in the flow and like the word just, you know, the, the word just kind of comes and, and then I end up rhyming. Um, but then in revision that usually goes away. Um, but I like, um, and, and I like playing with form. Like if I have an idea but I don't know where to start. Sometimes I'll just like randomly pick like a, a poetic form, like a pantoum or a guzzle or a son. I'm, I'm not a fan of sonnets, but I might, you know, just for the for the sort of syllable count. Um, and I'll pick a form just to kind of force myself to get something down on paper. And then I will say about half the time to 60 percent of the time, the form just dies in revision and I get rid of it, which is fine but I just needed a place to start. And so that kind of helps me. I know for some people form feels really constricting and like it, it drives them bananas and they can't work with form in that way. They don't feel creative. And I'm the opposite. I feel like it forces me to like, yeah. if, I, if I have a structure, if I have a frame, remember I'm a planner. So if I have a frame, if I have a structure and I follow it just to get it out, then at least I have words. Like I always say, you can't revise a blank page. And so for me, form helps me just get the words on the paper in some way without feeling like freaked out because it's like it's a blank page and I don't know where to start ah words um but if I have a form I'm like okay I know that I need five syllable counts or I need I need it I need to have certain lines that repeat and that at least gets me something on the page to get started with and then I obviously in revision I go back um and then revision things that I really think about are the length of line. Do I want is you know does this poem feel like a long line poem? Is it a short line poem? Am I going to have end stop lines, or am I going to have sort of enjambments right where we're going to sort of continue that flow? Um, where does the line end? Is it going to be kind of like a cliffhanger that then like changes the thought as you go into the next line? Is are the last words like really specific verbs and nouns? Right. I go I go through. I'm very big on like poetry being about nouns and verbs as my one of my mentors, Willie Perdomo, taught me. Um, and so I try to snip away at those adjectives and those adverbs. It's like, okay, I don't I don't need three adjectives to describe the shoe. Like just get rid of it. Go away, you know? And so I try to think about how can I how can I make the language really lively, captivating, yeah. emotive, and concise, right? Because poetry is about concision. It's about um, minimal language. You know, how much can you do with the least amount of words on the page? Um, I think a lot about white space. How does the white space work on the page? Do I have sort of these big indents on, you know, or, you know, in Aniana, I have shape poems. It's very important for me to create shapes on the page to keep it interesting and to kind of create pictures in the mind for the reader. And so all of that comes into play, especially in revision um, of poetry. Um, but a lot, sometimes a lot of those things I think about before I write a single word, like I think, okay, I'm, I'm going to have a poem in couplets or I'm going to use um, quatrains or I know it's going to be a long line because it feels really overwhelming and there's a lot of motion going on. And so we're just going to have lots of, you know, long lines, or I feel like it's a short, you know, short line kind of poem because of, of, of I want it to be brief. I want it to be quick. I want it, you know, capture the reader in, in that sort of amount of space. And so, um, you know, usually I try to think about some of these things before I draft the poem, but again, a lot of it changes or comes about like as I'm revising. Um, and poetry is, is the one genre, individual poems, 
um, that I still write by hand. So I very rarely will draft a poem on the computer. Um, sometimes I find myself drafting on like on my phone, like if I'm at the pickup line for school or if it just comes to me out of nowhere and I've got nothing to write on, then I'll draft, you know, a, a line or two just on my notes app and then I'll transfer to writing. But I feel just a lot more connected um, when I have pen to paper. Um, and then I, I will revise, you know, on the computer after I type up the first draft. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of my process. And those are the kind of the things, um, I also, I love metaphor. I, I lean into metaphor a lot. Um, and just sensory details, um, are a big one for me is sort of capturing, um, the essence of things, um, in, in a way that, that kind of, I'm big on, um, I don't know if you know what synesthesia is. Yeah. But it's where, yeah, where you can like hear color or smell, I don't know, sound or those those different kind of the senses kind of are, are combining. And so I kind of love playing with that type of imagery in poetry. It's always kind of um, interesting to me to, to, to try that um, as well. So, yeah. It sounds like being a poem of yours would be a fun thing <laughs> like to be you know with yeah. what's going on with form and sound and and then yeah, yeah imagery sensory detail um yeah yeah that that energy really comes across in the poems uh thank you so thank much you. this has been great i think this will be really helpful for awesome us thank you yeah